Lecture by CYC Chen Cynthia. You can pause anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键 Make sure have your tools ready. Okay, today we are going to do the sketch. So make sure you got your dry media paper and your sketch pencil. All right. So you can start with two B pencil, and we are going to do the two leaves for today. And we are going to do three of them. So first, we are going to have the middle one. And remember, the two leaves looks like a cup, right? So we are going to do a rectangle. So before we start to do the detail, we always start with the layout to make sure the size and the layout looking good on our drawing paper. All right, so that's my middle. And I want my second one a slightly lower. About the same size. And the left one, I'm making them look like with the angle. So my picture wall looks too boring. Okay. So finish the layout. All right. So we are going to do the paddle step by step, and we are have we are going to have three different angles for the two leaves. So let me zoom in to do our first one. We are going to do the middle one first, right here. Okay. So we are going to do the paddle in here. So that is the center, the bottom part. All right. So the paddle looks a little bit curved. You don't have to do exactly, but try to make the paddle look soft. So which means there's no straight line. Okay, and the pattern. I leave some skip, going out a little bit, like a cup. So you have to curve back in. Okay, and I have to. Paddles in between. The small part right here. The middle part. That's the paddle on the other side. Okay, so I keep the flower about the same size inside the rectangle we made. Okay, so let's do the other one. Here. So same. We are going to put the. X at the bottom, so we know all the paddle have to go back to there. Okay, so this time I'm going to have my paddle. The right side looks a little bit bigger. Make the paddle look soft. Okay, and the left side will be smaller. Middle one is a little bit high, so check the top. I have to curve down a little bit right here and close back. And the leaf, another leaf, the paddle, the middle, the center. They will have、uh, the center line, but very very bright right here because the angle. We are not able to see the paddle on the other side. It doesn't like this one. We can see a few of them on the other side, but not for this one. Okay, so these two two leaves all looks different. So let's move on to do the third one with the angle. So the same, I put the X right here. Now this time I'm going to separate. Well, I'm not going to separate the paddle like the first two I made. Right and left, right and left. This time, I'm going to put the paddle. Start with the middle. Okay. It's more close to the middle, but see, I leave more space on the top, which means I will going to do the paddle on the other side even more. So the center line. Okay. And let me start to do. 
powder on the side. It looks like the cups. So we always have the bump right here. Okay. And once powder here. Middle. A small one. So in total they should have five paddles for one, two, three, four. So when you finish, you can grab your eraser to remove the box. Okay, so be nice and be patient. Remember the paddle is something soft. So make sure the line, all the line you made is very smooth. Nothing looks like bumpy or sharp. Okay, it has to be very, very smooth. Nothing looks straight. Okay. But there are just one single line. Right. So when you finish, you can add the stand. See, the connection, I make the connection a little bit wider. Then it will look like the straw, straight down. But the top looks a little bit open. Okay. Then the same. Curve, curve. Straight, straight. Curve, curve. Straight. If you want to, you can add some leaf, but the leaf or the two leaves will be very skinny. All right, they won't look big. Okay, so feel free if you want to add some background. Feel free to do it. Okay, so before we start to shading, I want you to see something. Uh, they are not real, but I just want to show the color. Okay, so you each paddle, it is not actually just has one single color. It's actually the blending color. We can do that very easily when we use the watercolor. But we are doing the sketch. Everything will become black and white. So we are going to color a little bit darker at the bottom and getting brighter and brighter but if you if you see the edge around the paddle it will look a slightly darker around the edge of the paddle as well and another thing that's the texture so remember we add in the line right here right so that is actually this thing right here do you see there's a very i don't know it's not that clear maybe this one but there's the center line right there and I know this is a fake one, but it's very similar to the real one. It has the stronger texture, I know, but the real one doesn't have that much stronger texture. But we have to add it because they have, but just don't like the, the this one that this heavy. It will have it, but it's very, very unclear. But still, we have to add it with the shading. All right, so you can use your 2B pencil if you don't have the 2B pencil, HB is okay. But if you want to present that is the red one, you have to use the 4D sketch pencil. Because the red one into the black color, it will turn dark. Okay? So if you want to use the red color, you have to use the 4B. If you want to have just like the pink color, yellow color, orange color, something bright, 2B and HB are good enough to use. Okay, 
So let me start with the middle. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I will start with the left. So uh, my hand was not smash the color I made. Okay. If you are the right hand user, start with something on the left. So when you finish, and uh, you won't smash the color you already did on the right side. But if you are the left hand user, you will start from the right. So you are not going to smash the color all the uh, all the way right around. Okay. Now we can start. So let me zoom in so you can see it's more clear. All right. So remember, I told you we are going to have dark, medium light from bottom to the top, but we are not going to uh, make it too dark because it should be very, very light and no texture. See, I smash the color on top, very soft. That is my darkest color. So you are not going to see any light, any hatching. Right? The color should be very soft. And I'm not going to color the middle. It should be white for now. Okay? And getting brighter. So you have to control your hands. Soft. No textures. brighter okay you have to go even brighter see I light down my pencil to smash it to shade it and even more bright okay so we have dark medium and light okay, I have some white space so I have to fill them in so it's very soft you won't see any lines in there and remember I told you we are going to shade in the edge of the paddle around but not too heavy a little bit a little bit Okay, then the texture. I'm going to choose the right side to add in the shadow, but again, don't make the shadow too dark. And I can start to color a little bit at the middle. See, I'm adding the shadow on the side. And see what I'm doing? I'm adding the shadow very, very light. Very, very light. So now you can see the pattern. Not too dark. We don't want it too clear, but we want to see something there. You are not adding the line, you shading the line. Okay, just color a little bit. Okay, so I finished my first paddle. So we basically just repeating the same thing. The dark color. So here has a small trick. If the paddle is below to the other one, you can make it a little bit darker. So I can see the front and the back are bigger. Right? And just like the usual, we have color, shading, very smooth, dark, medium, and light. See, I'm adding the bottom one here a little bit darker so I can separate the paddle. Right? Okay? So, I think you have the basic idea. Now you can start to color the paddle one by one. No crossing color. Alright?
so as you see I finished my first one and the most of the paddle the one the three one facing more close to us you see there's a texture right but very very soft I don't add the lines I shading the shadow okay I'm shading the shadow for the pattern it's not that clear but you can tell something there all right so even the middle part here you have to add shading a little bit just like the leaf that's it okay so we will move on to do the second one and that will be the same if you want to switch the color so sometimes we will see the yellow so you can use 2b and sometimes you want to make the color a slightly darker like purple or red so you can change the pencil to 4b it doesn't matter but this uh, the technique will be the same so we will have the dark color at the bottom middle light and we are going to have a little bit shadow around the paddle then adding some pattern that's it okay
All right. So when you're done with your flowers, so the petals should look like this. They are not just a flat color, dark, medium, light. You will see some texture, right? I adding some shadow. That's it. So the petal below, I adding the shadow a little bit darker, not black, but just slightly darker. So I can tell that is something under, and that is something on top, right? So that's why I ask you. You have to add. You have to add the shadow, and you have to use to it, so you can show your drawing more added. Okay. So when you're done with your flower, your petal, and you better to switch your uh, pen sketch pencil. So I'm going to use the F. If you don't have the F, you can use 2H. Something light. Okay. So I'm going to shading. Same thing. No texture. Light. Then dark. And light again. So we will have the dark color at the middle, the bright color on the both side for the stem. Okay. So one more time. Light. Color the half. Then color a slightly darker. And light again. Do one more together on the last one. So let's see, I'm the right hand user, and I just accidentally finished my right two without the left one. So now it's a little bit tricky for me because when I shading here, I'm going to smash my flowers. That will be sad, right? So you're gonna need a clean, nice paper. Place under it to cover, so you can place your hands on top. All right. So if you want to keep your paper clean, you can have your paper, uh, one clean paper under your hands. But it's better not use the tissues because the tissue will just smash the the paper anyway. So the paper will be the bit of、uh, the best, I think. That's it. See, my paper is still clean. All right. So the leaves are the same. But I'm using dark, medium, and light. The reason I say this is the same is the same pencil. Okay, dark, medium, light. Make sure you keep the color shading inside. That's it. Okay. So how many leaf you have? And how much time you have to color? All right. So no texture for the leaf. So you can start to go ahead to shading dark, medium, light, and they have to be very smooth. And keep the color inside the shape. No rough color. Okay, so we basically finished the sketch for today. If you have the background, you can shade in the background, but don't forget you have to find where's the shadow, where's the highlight. All right, and we can sign the name and write down the date. Then we finish for today.
When you complete your drawing, sign the name and write down the date. 完成画作之后，签下你的名字，跟写上日期。Don't forget to take a photo of your drawing and send it to us. 不要忘记帮你的作品拍上照片，寄给我们哦。And don't forget to clean out the table before you go. 不要忘记清洁你的桌子哦。Bye bye. See you next time.